We're in November now and for the past few weeks I've been focusing on getting views fit for their dates with the tucks. This contraption I am using is produced by Richie and it's called a combi clamp. The sheep runs up the race and you stand on the step to shut the clamp as the sheep runs through, locking it in with the bar at the bottom whilst you do the necessary jobs. These sheep are in to be dagged. Dagging is simply the process of removing the wool from the sheep's back end, which I'm doing with electronic clippers. It's just like getting a haircut. Wool can quickly get dirty, you see, especially in these areas, attracting flies and is generally an eyesore for a shepherd. Although these sheep are not very dirty, they are being dagged to make it easier for the inexperienced tuck lambs to do their job of making little lammies. These sheep are from our pure clean flock, consisting of five families. This is the orange family, identified by the orange mark on the back of its neck and an orange ear tag. We use tuck lambs on our pure flock because it's more cost effective and allows the next generation of genetics to be used more quickly. So this is what a dag do you looks like. Next I check their feet for abnormalities and diseases such as foot rot. With the use of this machine you simply lift each foot up when needed from behind or in front and the sheep simply stands there. That's the sheep done and ready to go back to the field and await the tups. These are our tups. The big sheep are the shearlings and the smaller sheep are the tup lambs. The most important part of a tup is his male parts. Without these no little lammies could be born. So yes people you need to get in and have a good feel and check that they have two testicles. This is what a tup looks like from behind. Since the tups are at hand I check to see that they are tagged correctly. Sheep over 9 months of age requires to be double tagged, one in each ear with the left hand ear being an electronic tag. The larger yellow tag is to identify the family, therefore this tup is bred from the yellow family. This is an electronic tag reader and allows me to record which tups go to which use. Next I check their condition, not too skinny that you can easily feel their spine but not too fat that you can't feel it at all. At this stage it's better to be a bit on the fatter side as they will use a lot of energy and lose weight whilst tubbing the ewes. I also check that they have good mouth. Sheep have no teeth on their top palate, only teeth on their bottom palate. So lambs have 8 baby teeth, then every year 2 of these baby teeth are replaced with 2 adult teeth, starting from the 2 centre teeth. Therefore this tub is 1 year old as it has 1 set of adult teeth. With all the tubs checked, next is to rattle them. We do this by smearing paste onto their brisket. This allows us to see whether the trips are working. This masterpiece graffiti is to make my job easier of checking them and making sure that they're in the correct fields. Even I couldn't miss that. The trips are then introduced to the ewes out in the field. From the coloured back ends of the ewes we know that the trips have been working and the sheep farming story begins.